hello if you are new around here so today i thought i would start filming a vlog because i have literally got the busiest weeks coming up so much is going on in september so i thought i would start filming this vlog today because i just kind of want to start getting prepared for the next few weeks ahead and kind of just getting ahead of myself because this is like my last free kind of like weekend for the next like four weekends we're like so busy so i thought today we would get a head start on some holiday packing some holiday prep so next week on Wednesday, I'm going up to London, going up to Gatwick, day in the night, and then the next day on Thursday, I'm flying to Turkey, where I'm gonna go meet up with all the people that I work with. If you're new around here, you might not know, but I work for a fully remote marketing agency. And back in January, I went on a work trip to Dubai, and it was literally the most insane week ever. Like, I have never experienced anything like it. Like, firstly, flying to Dubai by myself was just a whole experience. Then meeting the people that I work with, person for the first time was crazy um and yeah it's just such a cool thing and i'm just honestly so grateful that my company do this sort of thing like it is absolutely insane i'm excited slightly like nervous because i think it's absolutely so bizarre that the world we live in now where i work remotely so i like know these people but i've never met them before and in turkey we're staying in these like massive villas which is gonna be so insane like i don't think i've ever stayed in anything like that in my life it's literally thursday to sunday so basically like a long weekend but i've only got hand luggage because i didn't want to have to pay for like a huge suitcase and because it's only like four days three whole days I just thought it's kind of unnecessary and I also don't want my luggage to be lost. So I thought if I have hand luggage, at least I've got it with me. So I've got all my outfits with me. So we're going to have to try and fit everything into hand luggage. And I'm going to be taking multiple outfit options because... I literally just don't know the vibe like I don't know if people are gonna dress the same as me I don't know if it's super dressy I don't know if it's like more casual what are other people gonna be wearing I really just overthink things like this like I don't want to seem too overdressed but then I also don't want to seem underdressed there's just honestly so much going on up there <laughs> I'll probably put like a lot of Instagram stories up so I'll try and save that to a highlight on my Instagram if you want to go have a look at that but yeah for now we're gonna start getting organized we're gonna start packing up all our stuff and doing all that kind of stuff this is my suitcase which i am so embarrassed about but i still haven't properly unpacked it since being away at my friend's house tilia's house i i'm so embarrassed so i just need to unpack everything i literally took so much stuff because i wasn't really sure what we were getting up to at tilia's house i actually feel like the easiest thing to start with will be like evening outfits because i bought this really nice dress from opoly which this is the thing i don't know what the vibe is this one's like a really tight fitted comes in at the sides it's got long sleeves and then these little straps um which is beautiful like i absolutely love it should i try it should i show you it on quickly because it's so nice but this is the dress and it's so pretty i think i'm just gonna take the stuff that i like and if no one else likes them then who cares i've also ordered two more o poly dresses which hopefully are going to come today so i'll show you those as well so i've got lots of like dressy outfits which i'm actually really excited about onto bikinis I know there's like a pool in the villa um, and I also think we're going to like some beach clubs. So I'm going to take like three bikinis depending on how I'm feeling. All of these I absolutely love but I've got a brand new bikini from Opoly. The bottoms are like quite small so unless I'm feeling like extra confident I probably won't wear this but I love it so I want to take it with me. Um, but I kind of, I basically did buy this for like when me and Jaff were gone holiday. Then I've got my OG bikini, this blue one from Boohoo, which I'm obsessed with. Like this one's so pretty. And then also this kind of like zebra print bikini, which is from Free Society. And I just love it. Like I just absolutely love these like underwire bikinis. Like they're just my vibe. So I'm just gonna take all of them. I feel like I'm definitely not gonna have enough space for all of this stuff. So I'm just like, yeah, I'll just take it all. with this dress from nasty gal i actually bought it in lockdown 
um it was just kind of like a boredom buy and i've literally worn it so much so this was such i love when you get those like clothing items that you just like non-stop wear this was definitely one of them so i'm gonna take this one with me as well i've also got lots of like oversized shirts which i think would be really nice for like beach club kind of vibe or like daytime over a bikini so i'm definitely gonna be taking this one which i got from zara I really like that one um, I don't know if this is a vibe. I'm not sure I'm going to take this one. Definitely going to take this one, but I feel like I need to wash it because I wore it the other day. I don't actually think I'm very good at packing. <laughs> it looks terrible, but I've got quite a few things in here now. I've got, also got some jean shorts, with, which I've added. I need to fold up that shirt better so it doesn't crease as much. Um, but yeah, I feel like we've made quite a good start. I feel like I do, I do have everything. I need to do shoes. Um, but I think I'm just going to take one pair of sandals and some trainers or something like that. So yeah, this is the current update at the moment. So I think we're going to have to pop into town because I need to get like a mini toothpaste. I need to get some mouthwash. Obviously, I can only take liquids that fit in the little clear plastic bag. So I just want to get all the minis. I think we'll pop to Superdrug or Boots or something like that and get prepared. Because I was thinking I could buy it at the airport because we've done that before. And it's just so much easier than having to like take the little clear plastic bag through. But our flight is at 5.35am. And what I'm just like worried. Is anything actually? going to be open at that time i don't know go get to the airport it's literally like half three so i booked myself a hotel for the night before so i just got my o poly order now i feel like i'm going to keep these dresses for mine and jasper's actual holiday um but it just came in this really nice box like i always love how o poly stuff is packaged and i put the first dress on my fake tan is like so patchy so don't judge but i'll show you the first dress this is the first dress and i am literally so obsessed with it i feel like if i had a bit more of a tan it would definitely look a lot nicer but this is the first dress i quickly popped into town yesterday um and i thought i'd show you the stuff i picked up it's kind of boring oh i actually want to show you something else i picked up that's more exciting picked up a couple of bits it's all kind of like boring toiletry stuff but i also picked up something a little bit more exciting as well um but i've got some i got a little hairspray um, I've got a little mini Aussie conditioner, which I actually really like. I don't know how good it is for your hair, um, but I just thought whilst I'm going away, I may as well take a little one like this. I got the cutest little mini toothpaste. How adorable is it in this little tube? I got a mini mouthwash, a little mini Listerine. Then I got this little mini sun cream as well. This is just the Boots Factor 50. Um, so I got that one, but I need to actually, I was looking at basically in Superdrug, they have like little pouches of sun cream, but they didn't have them. And then Jasper Googled when Boots at Gatwick Airport opens in the morning and it opens at 4 a.m. And my flight isn't until 5 35 or 5.25. So in theory, I should have enough time to go to Boots. Um, but I've got most of my stuff anyway, as long as it fits in the little clear plastic bag. And then I also got this mini boot travel set, um, which I thought was so cute. So I can put my little creams in it. And then I popped into New Look and I wanted to get some sandals, but they didn't actually have any of the sandals I was wanting. I kind of wanted like big chunky sole sandals, like maybe in black, but they didn't have any. But they did have these and oh my gosh, they are so comfortable. They're these little basic white heels and they're just the right like height that they're not like too high so they're not like super uncomfortable and they are wide fit as well which i didn't realize i have quite wide feet so these fit perfectly on me um so yeah these were so nice and they were 25 pound 99 but they went through the till at like 19.99 they said there was like 20 percent discount so yeah literally for 20 pound how nice are these i don't know if they'll fit in my suitcase and if i'll actually take them with me but i'll definitely take them on holiday when me and jasper go next week so yeah i've got some new heels it's just so exciting i literally rarely wear heels because they're just so uncomfortable and i never find like a pair that fits this nicely and like the height is just perfect today i'm actually getting my nails done which i actually cannot wait for so i'll show you those once they're done guys i literally just got back from having my nails done and these are my favorite nails ever i had them done when we went to egypt and i'm just obsessed so i'll show you them now i am fully obsessed so i went for this like pink and white ombre that's literally all i asked for and i love them they're literally just like my favorite nails i get them coffin shape as well but yeah i am fully obsessed so guys today's the day that we travel to london and it goes to the premiere and then tomorrow morning i've literally got to wake up at 3 a.m so i'm just finishing packing all of my stuff putting everything into a bag i feel like i've got everything like i've managed to put everything into here which is good um i've got all my passports and everything hopefully it's all gonna be good and i've got everything so i'm just packing up the last couple of bits but i need to leave in like five minutes so i need to hurry up 
have just arrived at my premium for the night and i just saw that literally this is the perfect location if you like have an early flight at gatwick because it's literally a two minute walk across the road like it's insane so yeah it makes life so much easier so we have arrived i just checked in and my room is actually really nice like I, it's just like the basic premium rooms i just love it with the purple lights and everything i've definitely stayed in nicer premiums than this but this is fine like i'm literally sleeping here for a couple of hours i think i'm gonna have to wake up at like 2 45 in the morning which i need to go to sleep soon because that is just way too early this is the bed we've got a little desk area here chair this little like wardrobe space the doors literally here and then this is the bathroom which is me which the light extractor fan makes the most annoying noise so i need to keep this off but yeah this is just the bathroom so i think i'm gonna clean my teeth just start chilling in bed it's only like half eight but obviously i kind of want to get to sleep as soon as i can i'm just feeling super excited to be here and just like super grateful for like being able to do this like it's insane good morning everybody it's currently 3 a.m i have just got ready i put on a bit of makeup just to make myself look a bit more awake um but yeah we're gonna go to airport we're gonna go to turkey i've got like 10 minutes until i need to leave so i'm just packing up the last couple of bits of stuff i slept like so badly i couldn't get to sleep which was so irritating so i was just like lying there like i need to go to sleep i managed to get a couple of hours in which was good so anyway let's go to the airport Airbnb that we're staying in so all the girls stayed in this Airbnb together and it was so nice so this is my bedroom and the view from my bedroom was absolutely unreal the whole place was just absolutely beautiful so we kind of just like unpacked chilled chatted to everyone for the rest of the afternoon for dinner at this place called Hakkasan. It was probably one of the nicest restaurants I've ever ate in. Like the food was unreal. The drinks were also really delicious as well. In the morning we went for a hike and it was so hot like i was literally melting it definitely wasn't my kind of vibe doing a hike in this heat but it was so beautiful like the views were absolutely stunning We then went to this beach club for lunch and just to like chill out in the afternoon and this was really nice as well. I actually ended up going in the sea and the sea was surprisingly quite warm. It was a little bit cold when you first get in. Once you're in it was actually really good so I had this really nice chicken salad for lunch. <laughs> And we went to this restaurant for traditional Turkish food and I'm gonna be completely honest it wasn't my favorite meal of the trip like there just wasn't tons of food that I really enjoyed and I also get a little bit scared like I'm not super adventurous with my food it was definitely an experience and definitely good to try whilst we're out in Turkey and then we finished off the evening with some drinks The next day we woke up and went to another beach club for the day. my favorite restaurant of the whole trip like it is honestly stunning food was unbelievable i had this really nice risotto and overall it was just my kind of vibe like i absolutely loved it <music> near the 
near where we were having dinner, there was this beach party going on, so we went down there for a bit, and then the next day, it was time for us to leave, so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog, make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you did, because it does really support my channel, and also subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos, and other than that, I should see you all again very soon, bye!